Hi, I'm Steve Moneypenny with The Practical Shooter, and today I want to talk a little bit about some target paint. Most of the time in the past, I used to go out to Walmart and I would pick up this white paint. It was called Flat, uh, or Matte, Flat White Blanco Matte, uh, which is basic white paint that is flat paint. Now, if you get the glossy paint, especially from Walmart, uh, the color place, it is crap. It's got mostly glossifier in it. It's a gloss white. It's not going to cover your targets at all, hardly. So Walmart stopped carrying this about the middle of the year last year. Then I bought the next thing next to it at Walmart, and it was Krylon with 25% more. So we went from a 10-ounce can. This was 96 cents. That's why I use it all the time. It was super cheap. You know, I have people that leave partial cans of this stuff out, let it get frozen, stuff like that. So, you know, 96 cents, big deal. Who cares if it's quarter full or whatever. Um, this stuff got a little bit more conservative. And then I'd like to thank Steel Targets Paint because they have a range program, which I got into this year. And one of my biggest things is I like to support those who support the gun industry. So these guys are supporting us. They give range discounts. So if you own a range or if you are friends with a range owner, just want to mention it to them to get them to carry some steel target paint. It's an awesome program. Also, I'd like to point out that the coverage, which we'll get into when I have a GT Targets Steel Challenge deal, which I'm setting up the range for some steel challenge today. And I wanted to stop and get this video done before it got too dark. But this wants you to be above 60 or 65 degrees. I can't really tell. The print is very, very small. Um, these guys, they want you to be over 50 degrees. And Steel Target Paint says paint it as low as 40 degrees. Now, I don't like shooting when it's cold, but 40 degrees is usually a minimum temperature when I'm starting out in the morning. Whether it's in early June or anytime pretty much after the first week of June, I can look to expect 40 degree temperatures whenever I get up and start setting up the range for the match that day. So pretty much everything's the same. Hold them six to eight inches from the target. I'm going to start off with the Walmart paint because it was super cheap. Again, 96 cents a can. Don't expect a whole lot. We're going to go with a little stripe here in the middle. Very runny. And I'm right at the six inch mark there because to be honest, at about eight inches, don't really get too much spray at all. And on the right hand side over here, we'll do some Krylon. These targets are going to get painted completely white in the very near future anyway. As you can see over here, they were white last fall. I needed these for some hard cover. We're six to eight inches here. Get a lot better coverage. Less runny. And not bad for household paint. Again, this is $3.96 a can. And then we have the steel target paint. About six to eight inches. I've done just as much with about three sprays as what I did with the, oh, the rest of it. Now, if you get real close, yes, you're going to get to water up some and bubble. But if you look how much run I've got down here with the Walmart paint, you can see some of the runs with the Krylon paint and then the steel target paint over here on this side. We even spray the heck out of it, and we're not getting these terrible runs. It's going to let our targets look a lot better. Now, even if this is a little bit more expensive, again, they have range programs, they have shooter programs. And most importantly, these guys are sponsoring shooters, matches, ranges. They're putting money right back into our shooting sports. Walmart is not putting money into any shooting sport that I know of. They will only sell ammunition to people 21 years of age and older, which we, I know a lot of 18-year-old, what they call junior shooters. They're not quite 21, but they're old enough to own their own guns, go to the match by themselves, and shoot the match by themselves. They're old enough to join the military, fight for the country. Now, if you want to see everything they have, you can go to, which is, this is rainbowtech.net, which is just the people that make the paint. If you want to buy it, you can go to rangestore.net, R-A-N-G-E-S-T-O-R-E, and it comes in a lot of different colors. Here are the colors it comes in. I can't see that I've ever seen that many colors on a match before. And we're gonna zoom in here some if we can. Get you to the Steel Challenge target. Again, you can see the Walmart paints in the center. This was all Walmart. This is the range store where I've had it about an inch, inch and a half. 
and on the right is the Kryolan, and everything on the left is what was sprayed with the steel target paint. If you guys have any questions, please post them below. If you have any other target painting solutions, ideas, or thoughts, maybe I'm doing something a little wrong that could be done better. I have shot a lot of matches. I've painted a lot of targets, but we're always out there to learn. So if you have any questions, post them below, and let me know if you have any tips. Thanks for tuning in, and please click subscribe.